If you've been thinking about launching a dropshipping store or just want to test out Shopify without committing to anything yet, I'm going to walk you through exactly how to set up your store step by step. And along the way, I'll also show you how to find and install one of the best dropshipping apps on the Shopify app store. Sometimes it's called ZQ, and it can seriously cut down your product research and order fulfillment time. So once you've signed up for the free trial, you'll land on this main Shopify dashboard. You don't need to set up your payment gateway or connect a domain right now. We're going to focus on getting the store looking good and adding your first product so that everything feels real and functional for testing. In this walkthrough, I'm going to add a digital product because it's faster, cleaner, and doesn't involve shipping setup. It's also great for videos like this where we just want to demonstrate how everything works without getting bogged down by logistics. On the left-hand side of your dashboard, click where it says Products, and then click Add Product. This opens up the Product Editor screen. For the product title, let's just go with something simple like ZQ Starter Pack. You can pretend it's a downloadable guide or an ebook or anything you want. The point is just to fill it in enough so the page looks real. Scroll down a little, and you'll see a price field. I'm going to set this to $9.99. You can set it to whatever you want, but just make sure that below the price, you uncheck the box that says this is a physical product. That tells Shopify not to ask for a shipping address at checkout. If you want to go a step further, you can even upload a placeholder file. Just go to the Shopify App Store and install the free digital downloads app. But for now, we'll keep it simple. Once that's done, click the green Save button in the top right corner. Now that your product is added, it's time to make the store look good. On the left side again, click on Online Store, then Themes. Shopify uses themes to control how your store looks. The default theme is called Dawn, and it works perfectly for most stores. Click the Customize button on the theme card, and it'll open up the Live Theme Editor. This is where you can edit your homepage layout. You'll see sections stacked vertically. You can add new ones, delete sections, and move them around by dragging. Scroll until you find a section called Featured Product. If it's not there already, you can click Add Section, choose Featured Product, and then select the ZQ Starter Pack we just created. That'll display the product right on the homepage so it looks like an active store. You can also click on the image or heading sections to change the main banner at the top. I'm going to change the text to something like Welcome to the Demo Store and just leave the image as the default for now. If you want to make it look a little nicer, you can upload a clean banner image or a fake product photo, something simple that makes the store feel a little more complete. Once you're happy with the layout, click the Save button at the top right, then click Preview to see how it looks live. Even though the store isn't public yet, you can see what a visitor would see if they landed on your homepage. So at this point, we've created the product, added it to the homepage, and made the site look clean. That's the basic structure done. Next, I'll show you exactly how to install the ZQ app, what it does, and why it's such a helpful tool for anyone trying to run a dropshipping business efficiently. Now that your store layout is finished and your sample product is live on the homepage, let's move on to the most important part of this video, installing the ZQ app and showing you what it can do. Start by heading back to the Shopify dashboard. On the left-hand menu, click on Apps, and then click the button that says Shopify App Store. This is where you can browse or search for apps to add extra functionality to your store. In the search bar at the top, type in ZQ1688 Dropshipping Pro. The app we're looking for should be the first result. Click on the app to open the details page and then click the green Install button. Shopify will ask you to confirm that you want to install it to your store and go ahead and confirm. Once it's installed, you'll land inside the ZQ dashboard and this is where the real power of the app starts to show. The ZQ app connects your Shopify store directly to 1688, which is one of the largest wholesale platforms in China. It gives you access to a massive range of low-cost products and lets you import them into your store in just a few clicks. But what really makes it different is that it handles a lot of the hard stuff for you. It automatically translates product listings, syncs prices and inventory, and helps with order fulfillment, all from one dashboard. Once you're inside the ZQ app, you can either browse categories or use the search bar to look for products. Let's say you want to start a tech accessories store. Just search for something like wireless earbuds and hit enter. You'll see a bunch of listings pop up, each with images, prices, shipping options, and supplier ratings. When you find a product that looks good, click add to import list. 
You can do this with as many products as you want. After that, go to your Import List tab in the app, and this is where you can edit the details before pushing it live to your store. You can change the product title, rewrite the description, select which images to include, adjust the pricing, and even organize it into collections. Once everything looks good, click Push to Store, and just like that, the product will appear in your Shopify Products section, ready to be displayed on your site. You can go back to your theme editor and add it to the home page, just like you did earlier with the digital product. This gives you a fully functioning dropshipping store in way less time than it would take to do everything manually. If you ever need to update prices or descriptions later, you can do that directly in the ZQ dashboard. You can also manage your orders from inside the app, which is a big time saver once you start getting traffic. And if you want even more advanced features, ZQ also offers tools for sourcing, fulfillment, and auto tracking, depending on the plan you're on. The best part is that the app is built for beginners and experienced sellers alike. You don't need to speak Chinese, you don't need to manage inventory yourself, and you don't even need to leave the Shopify dashboard. Everything is designed to streamline the process and help you focus on building your brand, not managing spreadsheets. Now, if you're just testing things out right now, you can go ahead and leave this setup as is. You don't need to activate a plan or buy anything. You can still explore the ZQ features and get a feel for how it all works. But if you're serious about starting a dropshipping business and want to cut out hours of manual work each week, this app is honestly a no-brainer. So if you're interested, head to the Shopify App Store and search for ZQ1688 Dropshipping Pro. Or just click the link in the description to go straight there. Once it's installed, you'll be able to browse products, add them to your store, and get started fast, even if you're brand new. And that wraps up the full walkthrough. We created a new store, added a sample product, customized the homepage, and installed one of the most useful dropshipping apps available. So that's how easy it is to start dropshipping with ZQ, right from your Shopify store. Just install the app, explore some products, and start importing. And if you're planning to scale, I'd actually recommend checking out the advanced plan. It lets you import up to 4,000 listings per month, which is perfect if you're taking this seriously. If you found this helpful, make sure to give the video a like, subscribe to the channel, and let me know in the comments if you have any questions about Shopify or ZQ. I'm happy to help. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.